And demanding answers. The family of a girl killed 28 years ago says police didn't do enough. CTV News with Todd Vander Hayden and Tara Schwartz. 28 years ago, a student disappeared while she was hitchhiking home in the eastern townships. Her body was found eight months later near Lennoxville. Now, the cause of her death was never determined, but her family believes that she was the victim of murder. Stefan Giroux explains. It's a painful return to the scene of the crime 28 years after the facts for John Allure. You just kind of have to catch yourself because you, you feel yourself, your heart racing a little bit. and and your expectation getting ahead of yourself. John Allure's sister, Teresa, went missing in 1978 when she was a 19-year-old student at Champlain College. Her decomposed body was found eight months later in the woods. The cause of death was inconclusive. Police dismissed the case as a likely runaway who died of an overdose. You know, I started to think about the whole, the whole incident and uh, um, it, something just didn't feel right about, about what what conclusions had been drawn. In 1978, police never searched the woods and never investigated the possibility of foul play. John never gave up and teamed up with criminology student Sue Sutherland. We have to focus on, you know, some testimony and some... We have a lot of work to do. Sutherland recruited volunteers to search these woods near Magog to find new clues. Theresa Allure's body was actually found near Lennoxville, some 40 kilometers from here. But they're searching the woods again because at this very same spot, police found another body at around the same time of a young woman who had been murdered. And now there's hope that the two can be linked. We thought it was a garbage bag. And I grabbed the jacket. <coughs> and now I saw the body. The Allure <laughs> figured there must be a link between the two. But the SQ shows little interest in reviving the case. Still, John Allure refuses to give up. It becomes a question of justice. And so far, justice is as elusive as the clues that could provide an answer. Stéphane Giroux, CTV News in Magog.